Hello Aquarius, welcome to a love reading. This is going to be another 411 reading. What's the 411 on your connection? What do you need to know? Um, how do you feel about each other? Everything will be in this reading. As always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Aquarius watching. So just take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation, and leave the rest. You can check out your other placements, your moon, your rising sign, any other sign of significance. Um, in in the description box, I'll have all of the different playlists listed if you want to get more insight. So let's jump right in for Aquarius, spirits, angels, guides. What messages, guidance do you have for Aquarius in love? What does Aquarius need to know for love for Aquarius? So let's see what we get for you. Okay, so what's going on in your connection right now? Queen of Cups reverse, Six of Swords reverse. Okay, um, challenges or insight on the situation. We have the Four of Wands, Hangman, okay. How you feel about this person, Temperance, Sagittarius energy, Ten of Swords, how they feel about you, Nine of Swords, and the Four of Swords. Interesting. Okay, what do you need to know? Any hidden factors? Eight of Swords reversed, and Death reversed, Scorpio energy, and the outcome. We have the Nine of Wands and the Six of Cups. Okay, so let's see if I can, there we go. Okay, and then the root or why everything is happening at the bottom of the deck, Six of Pentacles, okay. So right away, I feel like this is a situation where you're waiting, Aquarius. You're waiting for something. Um, I'm not sure if there has already been an ending in this connection because on your side, you have the Ten of Swords. So it's almost like when you think about this person or this connection, you th you're thinking about the ending. Um, maybe you're thinking about feeling betrayed or a betrayal that could have happened. Um, because right now in your connection, there's heartbreak, there's disappointment. Something happened here between you that wasn't great. And with the Six of Pentacles being like the root or why everything is happening is, it's like one of you at least wants to rebalance things, make things um, better or improve the situation. Um, and I feel like at least... When it comes to this connection at this time, things are not moving very fast. I have the hangman here. I have temperance. I have the four of swords on your person's side. Um, so we'll see. We're going to clarify all of these energies here to see what we can get. Well, let's start with the six of pentacles. This is why everything is happening. Why is the six of pentacles here for Aquarius? Why is the six of pentacles here for Aquarius? Queen of Swords. So someone wants to talk, most likely because they want to address the problem. Maybe they have something to say that's very open or honest. Can I get some more um, insight on the Six of Pentacles? Judgment. Yeah, I'm telling you, somebody wants like a second chance or wants to, I guess, fix something. There's a tower at the bottom of the deck. So something must have happened here between you, Aquarius. That wasn't great. I feel like someone also, I'm getting like someone actually giving you a call, calling you on the phone. So let's figure out what's going on in your connection right now. I feel like somebody wants to have stability again here or um, bring back peace because it probably hasn't been very peaceful lately, um, but there's no movement or communication with the hangman. Uh, now, the Six of Swords reverse is very interesting to me because this could be a card about someone returning or the fact that someone wants to leave and can't or someone doesn't want them to leave because I have the Queen of Cups reverse. So let's see. Tell me about the Six of Swords reverse. 
Why is the Six of Swords reverse? Nine of Wands shows up again. Why is the Six of, of Swords, sorry, the Six of Swords, why is the Six of Swords reverse? The Wheel of Fortune. I feel like someone's waiting for a miracle. That's what I heard. Waiting for a miracle, hoping for a better outcome or for something good to happen here. There's a lack of trust and it's probably because someone has already left here or someone has dealt badly with someone's departure. Tell me about the Queen of Cups reverse. Why is the Queen of Cups reverse? Why is the Queen of Cups reverse? Temperance again, interesting, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, it's almost like someone's being patient here, patiently waiting, hoping for a resolution, for harmony. Maybe this is someone who um, they're heartbroken, but still have faith that they can fix this. Bottom of the deck is the Five of Cups. Yeah, someone's devastated, I think. Heartbroken, sad, and this could be you or your person, Aquarius, because this is what's happening in your connection right now. Someone's like emotionally off balance. Why the hangman? Why is like nobody, and I, I mean by nobody, I'm, I mean that like general. It's like some, someone here is not doing anything or there's no progression. Maybe they're stuck. Why is the hangman here? Why is the hangman here? What can you tell me about the hangman? King of Swords. Again, I feel like someone just needs to talk. I feel like that's, um, it's almost like if you don't talk to this person or you don't talk about this, uh, it's like you can't move forward. Tell me about the hangman. Two of wands. Yeah, there's like a waiting period here. Someone's waiting and I have the ten of wands at the bottom of the deck. I'm not sure exactly what's happening here. I feel like this is a situation where you're both stressed out or you're both dealing with something that's not healthy or not good energy because you have the Ten of Swords and they have the Nine of Swords. So I feel like you're both mirroring each other. I have the Nine of Wands that showed up twice. You know, it's like someone that's been through a difficult situation or a difficult, um, I don't know. It's, it's like whatever they've been dealing with, they haven't been dealing with it very well. This could be happening in someone's home as well. Maybe someone's waiting for communication, you know, before they make a decision. So let's look at what you're thinking about this person. Well, actually, I'm going to pick up another card for your energy. Let me get some insight, please, for Aquarius regarding their energies here between Aquarius and their person. What do we need to know? Tell me about Aquarius. What is Aquarius thinking and feeling when it comes to this connection? What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to this connection? Hidden motives and taking action. There's something that you haven't discussed and I feel like action can't be taken. It's almost like there's a secret here or someone's hiding their true feelings. And it's almost like you're wondering if they're ever going to take action, if you're ever going to know about their feelings. Um, I feel like you're like waiting here with temperance. And I feel like for others of you, you don't trust this person's actions, whatever actions they do take. You think that there's a hidden motive there. Tell me about the person Aquarius is dealing with. What can you tell me about the person that Aquarius is dealing with? Falling leaves. Time changes everything. Um, some time has passed here or something to do with timing because there's divine timing at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, and look, I just picked up the deck and the hangman just happened to be there. There's like a stuck energy here. Tell me about the temperance card. This is in your energy, Aquarius, how you're thinking or feeling when it comes to this person, this connection. Why is temperance here? What's this about? The devil, Capricorn energy. Why is temperance here? It's like you're patiently waiting because of some sort of stuck energy. Tell me about temperance. Yeah, three of wands. You're waiting. 
you're waiting for something to either happen here or waiting for this person. Strength, Leo energy at the bottom of the deck. I wonder if you're waiting for an ending or you're waiting after an ending here. What's this Ten of Swords? What's this Ten of Swords doing here? The Hermit. Yeah, I feel like someone here withdrew after an ending or is thinking about an ending. Virgo energy. Did I mention that already? <laughs> So let's see, your person, Nine of Swords. This person could be feeling like time is running out. Why is the Nine of Swords here? What's with the stress, the fear? What's going on with this Nine of Swords? Queen of Cups. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Why is the Nine of Swords here? Ten of Wands. Yeah, this is... Your person is not dealing well with the situation as of right now. Whatever is happening between you, your person is not dealing well with it. But I think at the same time, they're not doing anything about it. Because I have the Four of Swords here. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Maybe they're not dealing well with the fact that they are not hearing from you. Or that things aren't progressing. Okay, we have the World and the Ten of Cups. So again, I feel like the idea is this person's probably thinking about this with the Four of Swords, thinking about a new cycle, thinking about what would make them happy, thinking about how much better something would be, um, possibly if they left. You have the Six of Swords here, but I have the Six of Swords reverse. I have the Four of Swords here, the Hangman. I don't feel like someone's making the move they want to make. So what do we need to know here? Because I have Death reverse, Eight of Swords reverse. This is kind of like what's going on behind the scenes or what you need to know. Why is the Eight of Swords reverse? The Moon, Pisces energy. Hmm, someone I feel needs to break out of their fear of the unknown. Maybe there's secrets. Once again, secrets here. Something hidden under the surface. Um, maybe they haven't, they've have kept something to themselves here. Tell me about the Moon. Why is the moon here? Five of Swords. Interesting. Someone's hiding something. And I feel it's keeping them stuck. Yeah, the hangman. And the Eight of Swords reverse. Makes sense. Whatever is being held, whatever's being hidden, or whatever someone's holding on to and not revealing, whatever secret or deception this could be, because I have hidden motives here. I feel like someone would need needs to break out of that or overcome that. Now, death reverse is typically a card about something that's not ending, not changing, or is delayed. A delayed ending or a delayed change. So let's see. Why is death reverse? Why is death reverse? Six of Wands. Why is death reverse? Let's see what else we get. Why is death reversed? The High Priestess. Yeah, there's something here that's definitely hidden. And then the Ace of Pentacles. Again, the Hangman at the bottom of the deck. I mean, it's just not a coincidence that he keeps coming up. It's almost like with the Six of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles, someone's imagining success or wishing for success, maybe um, hoping for success, for an opportunity. But with the high priestess, it's almost like they're not talking about it. You know, this is someone that's hiding something and it's keeping this situation um, like stuck, frozen. Like There's no movement. There's no progression. And I feel like someone's becoming very sick of it or they've held on for so long already that it's almost like, you know, how much longer can I wait? That kind of situation. And then when it comes to the outcome, I have the Nine of Wands with the Six of Cups. It's almost like someone's standing guard or um, maybe affected by something from the past or being wary or resistant regarding something from the past. Let's see. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Why 
Why is the Nine of Wands here? Why is the Nine of Wands here? Knight of Swords. Interesting. It's almost like someone's standing guard, not giving up because they're waiting for a message. Why is the Nine of Wands here? I feel like you're both, it's like you, this is both of your energies because you're both, I feel like, suffering. Six of Pentacles again. It's almost like someone, yeah, this is the person that's hoping to talk things out. If we just talk, things will work out. If we just communicate, things will be improved and the balance will be restored and everything will be peachy keen. It's like they're hope, like secretly, even the, w through whatever difficulty they're dealing with right now, they're hoping for this. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Memories, nostalgia, possibly a soulmate or a sweet connection. Tell me about the Six of Cups. What's the Six of Cups about? Death, Scorpio energy. Interesting. Tell me more about the Six of Cups. Tell me more about the Six of Cups. Can I get one more, please? Why is the Six of Cups here? The Fool. Yeah, it's almost, oh my God, the hangman again at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> I can't make it up. It's right there for like the fifth time. I feel like this was something that ended in the past and someone still like wants to revive it. Like resurrecting the past is kind of like the end game here, the goal. Um, I feel a lot of time has passed for the Aquariuses or Aquarians that I'm connecting with. This connection probably has either been going on for a long time or it's been a long time since you've been together. But I feel like the root why everything is happening is because somebody does want to have a do-over or a second chance or wants to resurrect this. I don't know if you're both on the same page on that, but I, I can tell you at least one of you is feeling that way, wants that. And I, I feel like there's someone kind of waiting, just wait like lo like being loyal to this connection and waiting for something to improve hoping that there's a change that comes the way you know that comes in the near future to to set you on a different path in this connection because right now you're both not really doing well you know whatever happened in this connection in the past it affected you both and it's probably affecting you both still And there's just no progression. Someone's just stuck thinking, planning, seeing things differently, but not really moving, not really taking action, despite the fact that that's what someone is either hoping for or hopes to do. Um, it just, I just don't see that happening right now. It's a, there's a waiting game here and it could be because divine timing is at play. Maybe something's just not meant to happen right now. Maybe there's some action that needs to be taken first. I think that whatever someone's hiding, whatever secret is kind of under the surface here, whatever hasn't been revealed is a huge block. And only open and honest communication will take care of that. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. This is what's going on in your connection, the 411 on your connection. If you enjoyed the reading, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing. I'd love to have you. Um, and that way you can get more readings in your subscription feed from me and keep up to date with whatever videos I'm putting out. Thank you so much for your support and for your kind comments. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.